Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Now Bob Arum has declared that everything is now agreed for Anthony Joshua vs Tyson Fury with no issues left to be resolved. He said they are currently in the process of signing contracts and an official announcement is it to follow. So this fight seems to be tied up. All of the problems, all of the nitty gritty things have now been sorted. This fight for all intensive purposes is on. The official announcement is coming. Now, we were told that there would be two announcements as told by Eddie Hearn. One announcement saying the fight is on, another separate announcement saying where the fight will be and what specific date it will be. It will be in June and I would imagine it would be later in June. I wouldn't imagine it to be early in June. So we do know the ballpark of when this fight will take place. Where is still a mystery at the moment, but the main thing is the fight is on. Everything has now been sorted and all they need to do is assign the contracts. All of the nitty gritty, all of the little things that could perhaps get in the way are now sorted. Which is great because we heard some good news from Anthony Joshua recently, but some not so good news from Tyson Fury saying he still doesn't believe the fight will happen and they were no further along. But AJ counteracted that coming out saying things are moving forwards, trust him, things are going to happen very very soon. And when he said that, we did know things were moving forward because it's fine to hear it from Bob Arum or Eddie Hearn but when the fighter himself says it especially someone like Anthony Joshua who doesn't get on the hype train that is when you can start getting excited that this fight is going to take place. So this is brilliant news for British fight fans and this is brilliant news for fight fans in general that we finally get to see an undisputed fight in the heavyweight division. It was at first supposed to be Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder, but that never seemed like it was going to come off. This time around, things were lengthy and we started to wonder if negotiations were going on too long and perhaps the fight was going to hit a stumbling block at some point. But they seem to have found a way around all of those things to still get the fight on. I mean, there was a situation with Deontay Wilder. There was also a situation with the WBO mandatory, meaning that all of the titles might not have been on the line for this undisputed fight, making it not undisputed. And this is a mega event, so you do want all of the belts on the line. If that is something that they can secure, now that has been secured and Wilder is not going to be a problem, Usyk is not going to be a problem. The fight is on, according to Bob Arum. Just contracts need to be signed, and then the fight is ready to go. This is great because there is another big fight that has been announced also, and that is Jose Ramirez versus Josh Taylor. I know that AJ versus Fury hasn't been officially announced just yet, just contracts are done and they need to be signed, but other than that, it's on. And Jose Ramirez and Josh Taylor has actually been announced and it will happen, and they're actually trying to make sure that it will work well for a UK time, rather than like a 4am or 5am start on a UK broadcaster. So that is great that they are trying to accommodate UK fans as well for the Josh Taylor Ramirez unification fight for all of the belts in that super lightweight division. So that is good news also. Guys, anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below, leave a thumbs up and a subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.